Good morning students, myself Major Komal Katyal, Department of Zoology, GK Gowani Government College, Binmal. Today we will discuss about the second part of oogenesis that is vitalogenesis. Vitalogenesis is very important as far as the oogenesis is concerned. It is a part of growth phase and growth phase is very prolonged in the case of gametogenesis which takes place in female gonad. Here the different stages have been depicted in the chart beginning from the primordial germ cells then the differentiation which is taking place in the ugonium formation of the primary oocyte within the follicle then the growth of the follicle and after the growth of the follicle there is meiosis first formation of a secondary oocyte and first polar body and the secondary oocyte then undergoes the process of meiosis 2 and after the meiosis 2 there is formation of two polar body from the first polar body and one polar body and a functional ovum from the secondary oocyte all these four structures are haploid so there is unequal distribution of cytoplasm it means during the growth phase whatever stored by the developing oocyte should be transferred only to the one cell and that is the ovum because ovum in future responsible for the development of fertilized egg because sperm carries only the nucleus while egg is responsible for providing nutrients and cytoplasm to the developing embryo now what is vitellogenesis Pitak Janan kya hai? It is the second period of growth phase characterized by the synthesis and accumulation of large amount of yolk. What is yolk? Yolk is a term used for not a specific chemical but it is used for a group of chemicals which are present in the yolk. It contains proteins, it contains sugar also. Now growth is accelerated very much and oocytes attains great proportion in some animals which we have already seen in my previous lecture. Yolk, as I told you, just is not a single chemical substance. It consists of proteins, neutral fats, phospholipids, certain carbohydrates and glycogen. Proportion of lipids and proteins varies in different animals proportionately. More proteins, it means protein yolk, and proportionately, if more lipids are present, it means it is lipoid yolk. Yolk occurs in the form of fine granules and evenly distributed in the cytoplasm of those animals which have isolacetal egg, as in the case of amphioxus and some tunicates. The yolk is granular. Second, in the developing oocytes of most vertebrates, yolk occurs in the form of large platelets and they densely packed in the cytoplasm of the vegetal pore. As we know, the developing zygote has two clear cut pole one, the vegetal pole, and the second one is the animal pole. The vegetal pole is the pole where much amount of yolk is present. Yolk platelets are made up of two proteinaceous substances, the phosphatin, which is the phosphorylated protein with 8.4% phosphorus and a molecular weight of approximately 35,000. While lipovitaline, as the name indicates, lipids are 75.5% with a molecular weight of 40,000. In yolk platelets, one molecule of lipovitaline is associated with two molecules of phosphatine. 
in amphibians oocyte lipids occur in the form of lipochondria lipids surrounded by a thin protein the yolk nucleus in the case of amphibians and avian oocyte is formed of a cloud of mitochondria it means mitochondrial cloud are present in such type of vertebrates it converts the soluble phosphatidin yolk into insoluble form that is deposited in the yolk platelets the golgi complex and endoplasmic reticulum are also associated with the yolk synthesis in many insects yolk is synthesized in mid gut region of the intestine and are carried to the ovaries while in other it is synthesized in the follicle cells of the ovary in the vertebrates the protein yolk is synthesized in the liver and then transported through the blood to the follicle cell or the nerve cells the developing oocyte collects yolk from these nerve cells by the process of micropenocytosis which is a kind of cell drinking now what is vitellogenesis the partially phosphorylated protein that is soluble in water with atp in presence of enzyme protein kinase and magnesium ion acting as the cofactor a fully phosphorylated protein which is insoluble in water plus adp now let us briefly discuss about the types of egg here the orangish yellow color indicates the presence of yolk if you look at the first example in the case of mammal the eggs are said to be a lacetal lacetin means yolk a lacetal it means the yolk is totally absent or nearly absent if you look at the structure of the egg the yolk platelets are there and they are scattered all over the active cytoplasm the second example is of a meso lacetal egg which is present in the amphibians you can see the blue color indicates the active cytoplasm while again the orangish yellow color indicates the yolk such type of eggs present in frogs and anurans the third case is telolacetal in the case of telolacetal eggs the bulk of the egg is covered by the yolk and only a small portion consists of active cytoplasm plus nucleus such type of eggs are generally present in oviparous animals say for example the aves and reptiles and the fourth one is the centrolacetal eggs which are characteristic feature of insects as it is clear from the name centrolacetal it means lacetin is present in the center part of the egg which is clearly visible in this slide while the active cytoplasm is present at the periphery such type of eggs you can observe in insects now what are the functions of yolk it supplies the energy for the development of embryo it provides material for the synthesis of those substances that are required for the elaboration of embryonic body it influences the size of the egg the differentiation of the oocyte the pattern of the cleavage early morphogenetic movements of the blastomeres during the gastrulation and on the type of development directly if the amount of yolk is greater it means there will be a absence of larval stage and if the development is indirect it means it has small amount of yolk so we are discussing about the functions of yolk now let us discuss about the group of animals on the basis of types of eggs the first the amniota 
Amniota means those animals which have cladoic eggs. What is a cladoic egg? When sufficient amount of yolk is present for the development of an embryo. Second, the extra embryonic membranes like chorion, allantois, amnion and yolk sac are present. For example, reptiles, aves and prototherians. The second is an amniota. What is an amniota? Means those animal in which amnion is absent. So animals having non cladoic eggs. They do not contain sufficient amount of nutritive material for complete development of the embryo. And the extra embryonic membranes like chorion, allantois, amnion, and yolk sac are totally absent, as in the case of fishes. On the basis of the type of eggs, we can classify the higher vertebrates into two categories one, the N amniota, and the second one is the amniota. Amniota actually include those animals which are truly terrestrial because of presence of the amnion which forms a sort of cavity and this cavity contains amniotic fluid and this amniotic fluid actually acts like a liquid medium. In this liquid medium the developing embryo is present and due to presence of the amniotic fluid it prevents from desiccation which is the main problem for the terrestrial animal during the development now let us discuss about the comparison between the spermatogenesis and oogenesis in the case of spermatogenesis there is formation of four spermatids which are after undergoing metamorphosis becomes four functional sperm while in the case of oogenesis the primary oocyte undergoes meiosis first to form one polar body and secondary oocyte and then during the meiosis two there is formation of another polar body so total three polar body plus one functional ovum is formed during the oogenesis now let us compare both these processes. In the case of spermatogenesis, four gametes from each primary spermatocyte, while there is only one gamete from each primary oocyte in the case of oogenesis. Four small gametes of equal size in the case of oogenesis, only one large gamete plus two to three polar bodies. There is equal distribution of cytoplasm in the spermatocyte, and in the case of oogenesis, the cytoplasm is conserved in one large gamete. Thus, there is unequal distribution of cytoplasm. The diplotene stage of meiosis first is relatively very short in the case of spermatogenesis, while it is very long and there is a dictate stage. Functions in fertilization only after meiosis is complete. It means it can participate in fertilization only after the completion of meiosis while it often function in fertilization even before the completion of meiosis what are the basic characteristic feature of a spermatozoon it is responsible for transfer of information to next generation locomotion penetration of barrier surrounding the egg and fusion with ulima and receptor mediated recognition while ovum responsible for transfer of genetic information to next generation it is responsible for chemo attraction of the sperm prevention of polyspermy storage of nutrients that is important and storage of cytoplasmic important this is the general figure of oogenesis in a human female to show the dictate stage about the dictate stage it is mediated by meiosis stabilizing factor of the follicle cells 
at the beginning of the menstrual cycle.